Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tere and uh, today we are listening to Taylor Swift's Archer. He, I should be honest, I'm not really excited about this album. I was a more of a reputation girl. I have been more of a older Taylor girl. Um, me just did not sit right with me at all. And then she had Brendan Yuri from Panic at the Disco saying you can't spell awesome without me. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine. Not with a, uh, you need to calm down and I actually like that one. I am, ex I shouldn't say, I'm not excited about this album. I'm not as excited as Reputation was. I'm not excited. I don't think I was really excited about 1989. But like, I still think she's a great lyricist. I think she, uh, deserves all the recognition that she has gotten because she goes out there and she performs even with everybody talking crap everybody has a, a comment about her life she still goes out there and gives it her all and that's all she ever wa wanted to do and I respect that um but let's get into this song called The Archer I, I like it. <laughs> I like it already. I think I needed... To, oh. Slow it down. Slow it down for me, Taylor. Please. Please, 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 please. Mm. Ooh. Easy they come. Easy they go. Oh, that is so true. Who could ever leave me, darling, but who could stay? This is what I... This sounds like a mix of uh, what I wanted lyrically of maybe 1989. Just slow it down and say kind of what you mean and what you're feeling. Because I feel like when she puts pop hooks in things and re is repetitive, I don't get the message of what you're getting me. Like, I like seeing the side of Taylor that you have so many people who are talking so much stuff about your life. You have so many commenters. You have so many people telling you one thing after another. But I feel like Taylor just kind of wants to just live. And I think she should be able to do that. Oh, and I think the song, it just... Like, I... I oh, let's keep listening. I, oh. <laughs> oh. so hard for me to think that Taylor Swift hates her reflection because I think she is so beautiful but I feel like every girl feels like that every you could be the hottest person in the world and still feel like you hate yourself you hate your reflection <sighs> coming in with the relatability I can't I feel like even the background is just like ramping up. It sounds, there's like a beat back there, like of it. I wonder if it's gonna actually come through or if it's just background, I don't know. All of my heroes died alone. Help me hold on to you. Oh! Yes, 
I love that track. I cannot express that enough. I feel like... I don't want to say that I was waiting for this track, but... Sometimes I feel like with Taylor's lyrics now, they're not as personal. They're not as... Not as they were in um, her older days of Red and Fearless. Um, like, I can immediately connect to this song. I love this song. I love it. I need a music video. This is one that I really, 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 really love. And this actually makes me excited for the album. Maybe I will review it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, but then I think about that lyric of, well, you can't spell awesome without me, and I'm right back into it. I'm going to skip that if I do review the album. I, I can't. I can't. I understand it's celebrating happiness and positivity, and uh, but, like, those lyrics, though, were a mess. They were a mess. <laughs> but uh, maybe I will review it. All right, I will see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. I need a music video for the fly. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs>